Hello my finest friends, welcome to another frame, it's frame 139 of Me1 vs Me2 Snooker, a continuing match in which Me1, the normal man, takes on Me2, the very strong breeze, to find out who is the best at snooker. It's a thrilling contest that has kept people hooked to their ear, their ear pods and headphones, it would have been in the old days, uh, for 10 years now, over 10 years and we're still no closer to knowing who the winner is going to be. It could be me one, it could be me two. No one is sure. Um, sorry we're a bit late on the uh, starting up. Uh, also for me, my I'm really out of sync. But I'm hoping for you that I'm not out of sync. And that my mouth is moving at the same basic time as the words are coming out. Uh, there are 69 viewers today. 69 dudes um which is you know low usually i don't play for less than 100 people but i understand some people have been seduced by that false whore of two-player snooker on a flat board um apparently one of the players scored 147 in one break today big deal mate try playing on a board that is really small and is bent and doesn't have enough balls to get 147 on and then get 147, which is what I'm hoping one of the players will do tonight. So we went up a bit late, some technical issues. Um, uh, let's get straight on with the football because it's nearly 20. It's 20.03. It's time for football. Uh, Champions League semi-finals, Man City 20, Real Madrid. A lot of people think it's Real Madrid. It's not, it's Real Madrid. 20 nil to Man City. Uh, I believe that started at 8 o'clock as well. So that's an incredible score in just three minutes. Uh, VAR may come in. It has done before. Um, a, low, a lot of you are waiting to find out what's happened to Gala Ferry Dean in the Lowland League. Well, just wait. Hold your horses. Uh, we're in the Championship. Barnsley are playing Blackpool. 15 minutes in. Goalless. Uh, fantastic news for Nottingham Forest fans coming up. Um, which I consider myself to be. I like Fulham and I like, I really like Nottingham Forest. Um, and I'm hoping they will promote it. And I'm hoping Luton will not be promoted because they're the worst. Um, Fulham nil, Nottingham Forest won. That's exactly the result that Nottingham Forest would like to see. Uh, maybe more goals to them. Uh, Swansea 2, Bournemouth nil, Bournemouth in second place. Uh, yeah, there's still a chance Nottingham Forest could. Uh, could qualify uh, without going to playoffs. Imagine that. So, um, you know, getting, getting proper football analysis here. So the way the, those results are going, I'd like to see how that affects the the table. And, uh, yeah, that would put Nottingham Forest just two points behind it. Slightly out of form, Bournemouth. Um, and Nottingham Forest very much the team in form. So can Nottingham Forest get up to that automatic place? Brian Clough is watching down from heaven. Uh, Swansea 2, Bournemouth nil, I told you. Uh, Inter League 1, Fleetwood nil. There's goals have been flying in. Uh, a Sheffield Wednesday guy it kicked the ball. It went to another Sheffield Wednesday guy. He knocked it on. And then another Sheffield Wednesday guy came in. Bang! Wood, and it was right in the onion bag. Fleetwood nil, Sheffield Wednesday 1. That's what happened there. Portsmouth nil, Wigan nil. Sunderland nil, Rotherham nil. In League 2, um, the goals are flying in. They're Barrow, the Barrow team. Um... They, uh, one of the guys hit it and another guy nodded it on with his head and then it went to the foot of another guy. He sort of did a shimmy, got around the defender, bang, in there with the goalkeeper. Got a finger to it, but it couldn't. 1-0 to Barrow. Uh, Mansfield nil, Stevenage, my local team nil. Uh, might hear the ground on there playing in Mansfield, probably won't. Sutton, United 2, Crawley nil. And Swindon 1, Forest Green nil. Into the National League, getting close to the all-important York City uh, score. Very important day for York City. Uh, Bromley nil, Aldershot nil, Dover nil, Notts County nil, South End nil, Boreham Woods, quite local nil, uh, Weymouth nil, Wrexham nil. Uh, into the National League North, it's the main division. Um, and Alf Fretton have just put one in past Curzon Ashton's goalkeeper. He, he jumped, he tried to stop it going in, but that ball was just going too fast or just out of his reach or something. Bang, it went in 1 nil. Just that, that's happened live on. That's happened live on. Uh, camera and Chester nil York nil so so far that's just a point York really need all three points for a chance to be in the playoffs it's a uh, slip up in form not looking good National League South one of the least important leagues Concord Rangers sick to name it after Concord nil Slough Town not a real place nil and here we are Lowland League the Spartans 
from History have scored no goals. Gala Fairy Dean, mainly made up of uh, fairy folk who are uh, having a gala. Yeah, that's how clever I am at comedy. Nil, well, they got one, sorry. That would make, it made it sound like they had nil, then one nil up. Uh, Semi finals of the Irish Cup, Newry City AFC of 19, and Ballymena United have 45. That, given that that started at 7.45, that is an incredible score so far. There's some results in, we're not interested in those. Anyway, uh, I have to tell you, uh, back to the snooker. I know a lot of people just tune in for the football. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, but a cocky carrot, one of the things has been, uh, one of the emote things you've got has been uh, uh, discontinued due to it looking too much like a penis. But it's a cat, it's orange, it's got a little tuft on the top of its head. Does this really look like a penis to you, Ian Twitch? Woohoo! Did someone say Twitch like a penis can? Woohoo! Um, so sorry about that. Um, we are here. Um, unfortunately, Mike Gregory's family got in touch to say they didn't want the arena named after him. Um, he hate, He actually hated self-playing snooker. He said he preferred two-playing snooker. And, he, and they asked him on his deathbed if he'd want to have the arena named after him. He said no. He thought what self-playing snooker was stupid. So fuck him. So, not many people have died today. Yesterday, the uh, world's oldest woman died. Curse of the world's oldest woman. And the old, oldest person. No longer. Someone else has got that poison chalice now. Uh, so, today, we are naming the, uh, a 50-50 choice. Uh, I've chosen to name after the 100-year-old Italian politician, Assunta Almirante. Yeah, sorry to tell you he's gone. He had a good... Or oh, she's gone. They've gone. It was... Uh, they had a good knock... Uh, yeah, Santi Almarante has gone. Uh, and that's how they said their name. They just put on a stupid accent to say their name. Uh, I can't imagine Asunta. Uh, ass. It's, it's got ass in the name. It's got unt, which is partly rude. And then the, the surname, Almarante, is just it sounds like a nice drink or something, doesn't it? i have some Almarante, please. It sounds like a good guy. Um, uh, or a woman. Are you sure? Asunta Almirante, the wife of the late Giorgio Almirante, the founder of the now defunct neo-fascist MSI party, has died at the age of 100. Well, and the age. I don't care about people's politics. You know, I say if you if if that's your politics, that's fine. You know, let's celebrate the life of Asunta Almirante. Uh, it said politician on Wikipedia. It didn't say fascist politician. It didn't say wife of a fascist politician. Um... You know, and they were neo-fascists, new fascists. Give them a chance. They're trying to change the brand. New fascists. We're nice now. <laughs> um, so, well, we might change. What was the other option? That's, you know, I feel like that might be a that might be a misstep for any new. It's Peter Vickery, the seventy-year-old Australian lawyer, judge of the Supreme Court of Victoria, who died of cancer. I mean, we don't know what his politics were. Dare we take the risk? I think we'll stay with the Santa Almarante. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've got a, uh, the broad spectrum of life has to be represented here. And if the fascists don't, neo fascists don't like it, they can get in touch and next week there'll be someone else, won't it? I didn't, did um, Sybil say that it would be named after Paddy McGuinness this week or was that in Twitch of Fun? Let's find out. Is, has anyone checked on Paddy McGuinness? Uh, let's see what uh, Sybil thinks is going. Ooh, look at the camera. I can't. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it is I, Sybil. Ooh, I am everywhere. I am nowhere. I am in everything. I'm not your bumhole. I'm everywhere. Get out. I'm in your bumhole right now. It's horrible. It smells a bit. Who are you talking to? Everyone, Richard. Like Jesus, I'm in everyone's bumhole. Ooh. Did you say that Paddy McGuinness was going to die this week? I cannot remember what I said or what I will say. All I know is that I have said everything that can be said and everything I say is true. But he, I don't think he has died, so, you know. Well, wait till Thursday. Maybe it was Thursday. I don't know. Um, well, look, it's been a good run of form for Me Too. And the last few frames, Me One's won one frame a long time ago. Me Too's won the rest. Who is going to win today? I predict Me One will win by 17 points, Richard. That is my prediction. What I have said, let no man put us under. 
Ooh, I'll be back on Twitch on Thursday, will you? Because we want it this week. I don't know. I can't remember. Probably. That's uh, Sybil there, the uh, Greek oracle. Skin peeling off. Um. So yes, it's uh, it's currently me one sixty one, me two seventy. We've never had a player nine frames ahead of another. It's feeling a bit like a one horse race. It's feeling like it's all like there are people on the pitch. They think it's all over. Surely, if me two gets ten frames ahead, there's no way back for me one. Surely, the law of cabbages says me one has to win, but not the law of Sybil, who says he, he will lose. By uh, did, oh, did he say me one win? I can't remember what she said now. What did he say? I don't remember, Richard. I don't know. You have to listen. Um, did did they say me one would win or me two? Well, I can't remember. I'm quite tired. Um, not very well. Uh, I looked up from my shower and fuck me, there's the puppet. What are you doing in the shower? Emry's ridden six six six. Um, me one is going to win according to the scruff with the cat. So that's that's what that was the prediction. Uh, let's talk to the players. Let's just get on with it. We've seen the football. That's why we're most of us are here. Let's get on with this. Let's see how the players are feeling. Let's talk to me one. Soundly thrashed last week. How are you feeling, me one? Is just sitting down now. Uh, I'm, you know, uh, I'm not happy with the way things are going, Richard. I have to turn things around. Um, I've been, you know, thinking about what what mistakes I've been making. None. I've been thinking about what how I could play differently. None. Um, and. Uh, I'm just going to get out there on the old green board and do my best. That's all, that's all I can do. Well, humble, humbled, wearing his uh, trademark Reb Mevaum Rev Et Hawa Warg t-shirt, of course. Yeah, I love that t-shirt. Good. Um, and me too. Anything to say? Let the snooker do the talking, Richard. The snooker's been doing the talking. I've been doing the talking. Let's get on with it. Let's get this thing over by 20 past 8 and uh, people can go and watch the proper snooker. How dare you say that? I dare, because I'm me too. I've won 70 frames of snooker against 61. Even if me one wins today, it doesn't matter. And if I win, I'm way ahead, so it's going to be great. Yeah, have I forgotten to do anything? It feels like there's more stuff I'm meant to do, but, you know. Yeah, no, should we just get on with it? Yeah, I think let's get on with it. Let's hand over to commentator one, commentator two in the Asunta Almirante commentary box. Go, hello, Richard. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. the Duke of York. There seems to have been bent over a box by someone or something. Who knows why and who knows when? Um, I'm not comfortable with uh, having in a commentary box named after the wife of a neo-fascist. But uh, I just love my snooker. I've got to stay here. How about you, commentator too? How do you feel? Um, I feel that if the people who put this podcast live stream together had any sense of decency, they would have checked to who that person was before just blurting it on stage. Well, 130 people out in the live audience disagree with you, commentator too. 130 people. It's not even lockdown, and they're here happily watching... Um, Referee one decides to turn on the lights as part of his job. Uh, and here comes me one to at the hockey. Will he go in off? That's what he's known for. Yep, in off straight away. He's always playing to the crowd, delighting the crowd. And that's not a good start. Can me one win this? He needs a win here more than he needs air. And me too. He hits that a bit straight. Oh, notch the black towards the pocket. It doesn't go in. Me one has an opening here. And I'm not talking about his vagina. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. And me too. A little plant here. A bit of backspin. Look at that. He's perfectly on the pink. Beautiful bit of spin. And beautiful shot of the pink. This could be the maximum break we've all been hoping for. If it wasn't, if it only had been that been a black, not a pink. Me too. Oh, he's off. There's no stopping this guy. He's definitely the best at snooker here. And he's shown it again. And, oh, that's a shame. Set a break of eight, though, nonetheless. 
Calculating, calculating, me one, zero, me two, calculating, twelve. Me one, his back is against the wall. Oh, oh, what a shot, I was gonna say, what a beautiful shot, he potted the red. It seemed impossible, into the top left hand pocket, but the white ball, the cue ball, sometimes known as, floated into the middle pocket on the left, and me too has another four points. And this is looking very bad for the normal man. Oh, me too. Well, loads of things happened there. If you listen to the audio, go and watch the video for that bit, it was good. Me one. Tries to do a plant. Oh, he's got one in. That's a point for me one. A valuable point. And he's got a very straight blue. Oh, and he uses the black beautifully just to nudge that blue in. What brilliant play. Me one's back. Can he win this by 17 points? We'll see, it's early days, he needs trips over his long, he's got a three ball break, it's a long trouser legs. He's got a three ball break, can he get a four ball break? Oh, I don't think so. So a break a seven for me one, that at least puts him on the board. Me too. Whew, it's all happening. Me too just gives it a whack. Nick nap paddy whack. Me one. Nothing much here for him, I don't think. He gives it a whack. Me too. Can he give it a whack? Very different playing styles these players have. You can always tell them apart. Me one. Oh, that jingled and jangled in the pocket. Me too. Seems to be... Oh, that was amazing. He didn't really... Had to play the ball at an unusual angle there. Not going to get this pink in, I don't think. He's going for the centre pocket, hasn't got it. Me too. That's another point. It's 10 points clear, 17 plays 7. Was that the 17 that Sybil was talking about? Me one. Oh yes. Knocks the pink out of the way. Might have been an obvious choice to pot. Me one needs some points. Going for the brown, no. Yeah, he was worried about the green. Bumps up to eight, me too. Three reds left on the old green board. Oh, risky, risky. Gets away with it, me one. Oh, it dances around the pocket. That red but does not go in, me too. Oh, what a shot. That's what we're talking about. That's why we love me too. Looked like it was nothing was going to happen. Then bang, into the pocket it goes. Can he get this yellow? Oh yes, he can. Breaker three nicely nudges the red up, but slightly too far up the board. Might be a snooker here. Breaker three for me too. Takes him up to twenty. Twenty plays eight, and me one really needs to pull something. I can't believe how badly he's doing in this competition. Oh, just a bit too hard. That one jumped out of the pocket. Oh, me too. Oh, oh. Well, a little ray of hope comes in for me one as me too does the old in off that's normally associated with me one. And me one now has a chance to pot a red, which he does. He's come up for the pink. Lovely, lovely positional play. Oh, the roll of the green has taken that a little bit too far. This is quite hard to pop now. He's hit it too softly, has he? No, he's hit it beautifully. Oh, but the pink goes in right between the red and the cue ball. Oh, he's hit the black. He got a break of seven. He gave away seven. Calculating, calculating, meet one, 19. Calculating, meet two, 27. Me too. He's playing like a renegade, and that's a beautiful snooker he's managed to get there. You thought it looked like he was going to try and pot it. Me one gets out of this snooker this time. Me too. Can he play for the snooker here? Oh, nice. Me one though, not snookered. Tries to double it. Yeah, has he got his own snooker? Not quite. Oh, me too, a little cheeky bounce off the top cushion. 
before he hits the red. Me one. Just whacking it. Oh, where's the fucking yellow? The, this frame has been declared void. So all of those who thought that uh, Sybil was talking out of her ass, the yellow went down, didn't it? And referee one forgot to put it back on the old green board. Through tiredness, that is a red mark against his name. That will go down in infamy. You've got to remember to take the old, you can't just let them go down. You've got to put them back on the old green board and referee one is apologizing to the players. We're going to have to start again. And who knows what would have happened. It's like sliding doors, isn't it? Imagine the frame where the referee had remembered to pick a yellow out of the pocket, just do his fucking job. He's set up in double quick time. He's the, not done brilliantly on getting those reds in the right place. Me want to break. We're starting again. Can he go in off again? No. History has changed, my friends. What a disaster. It's all the more snooker for the fans, though. Me too. I think misses the shot he was trying to go for, but gets away with it. Me one. And it's me one who starts as a confident alpha male. Yes, look at that. Me one who looked like he was going to lose that frame has come back with an astonishing start, a break of at least six. Did I say six? Make that seven. Me one is going for the maximum here. Oh, unlucky. So a break of seven for me one. Seven nil, and that's so different than how it started last time, isn't it? Well, there's a, dead, there's a wasp, it's actually alive, and me two's killed a wasp live on air. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, he's, he's actually snookered. This is actually a snooker. Oh, gets out of it nicely. Me one. Fails to capitalise. Me too. Me too seems to have gone to pieces here. I think there's going to be some angry words. Me one. Another beautiful pot. And that's why you must always trust Sybil. She knows what she's talking about. It's now 8 nil to me one. And if you'd said halfway through the last frame that me one would be eight nil up in this frame, you'd have said I was mad. Me two fails to get much impact. Me one going for the plant misses. And this is the kind of opportunity me two eats up for breakfast. Bang, red potted. Bang, in off. And the yellow potted. Get the yellow out this time. So one point to me, what two? Five points, I believe, to, to me one. It's all topsy-turvy this time. It's Kevin Turvey, topsy-turvy. Referee not able to locate the cue ball. He's very tired, very confused. Oh, that was me one, I think, wasn't it? Missed the ball entirely. Me two gets a little lifeline. Is that right or was that me too? Whew. Let's see what Andy McH thinks the score is. Uh, well that, he agrees with me. Me too. Yes, what a shot. What a shot from me too. This is it. Here comes the maximum. Oh no, he's messed up the black. That was a shame for me too. He seems to have gone to pieces after starting so well. Me one. Beautiful. Pots the red on the black. Can he get this into the centre pocket? Sure, this is a match winning shot if he gets it. Oh, hits the post. And will he rue the day that he didn't get that black in because he's got a nice positional shot. Missed it up. Me too. Me too pots the red. Me too. What will he pot next? Can he pot this yellow? Yes, he can. What a shot. 
The yellow's going to slightly impede him in his next shot. It's only a break of three so far, but me too. Looks like he's got more to get in. Oh no, he's gone in off. So me too gets three, gives away four. And this is like just basically the mirror image of the last frame, isn't it? Me one. Let's hope no one makes a mistake now. Me one, perfect shot. All the colours down in this corner, apart from the yellow and the brown. Me one pots the yellow beautifully. What can he do here though? He's in danger of potting the pink if he's not careful. He gets a, he gets a nice considered break of three. Takes him up to 21. 21 plays nine, I think. Me too. Not snookered, which I think is what was going for there. Uh, but doesn't manage to pop the red, nearly pots the black. Me one can get this red. It's happy days because there's the red. Got to get this pink. He's got the pink. He can hit the next red pretty easily. That's a lovely break of seven. And I think Sybil's prophecy is coming true. Beautiful break of seven for me one. Put him 19 ahead, almost exactly as predicted. Me too. Is there any point in playing on or is he just a dice in the universe? Me one. Oh, that was a good shot. Me one absolutely found their form. Oh, ho, ho, cheeky from me one. I wouldn't have even attempted that pink. The pink goes down. It's a break of seven. Needs a longer cue stick here really now, but he just hits the yellow. He's way ahead. Me one just seems to be heading for victory, but can me two spoil the party again? He's done it a lot of times. Me one. Oh, me one just completely misses the yellow and it's a snooker, so me too can check. Don't know what you have to do here. And it was referee one. He's, anything can be yellow, says referee one. And he misses the brown, which was a yellow. So me one has quite nicely on the real yellow, messes it up. Me too. Just playing quite cavalier now, me too. I don't know why. Me one. Oh, nice shot. Nearly a snooker, I think, but me too can just get in there, can't pot it. Game of chess now. It's like a game of chess as me one wax the yellow, see what happens. Me too. Can he get this? Oh, he could have done. Oh, nice snooker. Very nice snooker from me too. Me one misses everything. It's been called a miss. Gonna try again. Oh, he's gone in off. So eight points to me too. It's back. He's back in this. Not really. Surely he can't, surely he can't. He surely he can, he's potted the yellow. Can he get a break of 35 here? Oh, a very bad luck from me too. The kind of, he nearly got the green in, but the green then bounced back, hit the blue and the blue went in. So two points to me too, but five points to me one. It's 19 placed 44. Me one just needs to see this out. He's 25 points behind, there's 25 points on the board. Oh, oh no, me too. Pots the green, nudges that blue again. The blue goes in. Both the colors come out. Me one gets five points. Surely this is over now. Uh, me one can use any colour as a green. Tries the black, doesn't get it. Has got a snooker though. Me too. Misses. Oh, comes in off. He's just fallen to pieces. He had his chance to come back. And now me one. Could this be the turning point in this competition? Commentator two. Could be, yeah. Uh, I think this is me one's frame. He gets the green. He doesn't get the brown. Doesn't matter. He's going to win by more than 17. Me too needs snookers. 
He doesn't know what to do. He's lost like a little baby lamb. Beautiful shot from me one. Pots to the brown. Misses an easy, a much easier blue. But it's up to 60 points now for me. Me one, me two. Seems to have just given in. I think he's trying to pot that. Me one. What can me two do? Nothing. Nothing. He's just whacking it in anger. He'll be furious about what's happened. He was in the lead. Me one's gone in off. There's hope. Me two is over 20. He's now like still like oh, 36 points behind. But maybe, just maybe, if he can get this blue behind the pink and the black. Oh, he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it. Me one. Me too. This could go on a long time tonight. Me one. Just playing silly buggers ready. Me too. Is that going to go in? It's not going to go in, but I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh, me one keeps the game afloat. Cruelly. Will he regret that? Me too. Oh, he nearly gets that snooker, but doesn't. Me one, surely. Now is the time. He's potted the blue. He's potted the pink, just nudges the black. So he can do a spectacular shot into the bottom pocket. Doesn't need to. He knew he didn't need to. He gets 11 points. He ends on 71 to 24, but 71 backwards. What is that? Yes. 71, 24, he's won by the mirror image of 17. If 71 backwards is 17, Sybil got it exactly right. It's 62, plays 70, and suddenly, there's everything to play for. Suddenly, this match, this tournament is back on. Suddenly, we have an amazing competition for you. We looked like it was all over. Well, it isn't now. Back to you, Richard, in the studio. Yeah, incredible stuff, incredibly shit stuff. We could have been finished 15 minutes ago. Um, I, I can see me too, just in my periphery, fumingly angry about what's happened. Um, let's, let's talk to him. Richard, I'm fumingly angry. I could see from my periphery. Um, this is apt an outrage. I was ahead, I was winning, I, took, I, I was good, I was doing well. And then bang, the referee makes a mistake and I lose the frame. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm going to the governing body, the self playing Snooker Federation. I'm going to get that guy fired into the fucking heart of the sun where he belongs. I don't know why he isn't there now. I thought he'd already been shot into there. And, you know. Yeah, and so on. Well, pure anger there from me too. Me one. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think uh, I won it fair and square. I um, think I was the best at snooker, and that's reflected in the score, where it basically adds up to 100. I had 71% of the points, um, and uh, probably a bit more in percentage terms, and therefore I'm the I'm the best. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of fans upset, and there's obviously betting going down. Unfortunately, the referee's decision is final. It was a frame that had to be played again. Um, no one knows when that yellow went down. No one can tell. what. We can't go back in time. Um, yeah, some furious people, furious in the, the chat room. And I can understand it. Both fans of Me Too and people who'd put money on Me Too. Um, uh, but that's the game. That's, the, that's why we love this crazy sport. It's the sport of knaves, the sport of pretenders to the king. Um, it's made a game of it, that's what you can say. And yeah, it's the kind of thing I think Asunta Almirante would have loved, were she still alive, to see it. If only there'd been sort of the crushing of the poor somehow and involved in it as well. Um, there's no going back. We can't see what happened. We can't work out what went wrong. There's no point in pointing fingers trying to blame anyone for this. 
what's happened, what's done is done and cannot be undone. It was seen by civil all predicted from the opening. So uh, let's just see how York City are doing before we crack on. Oh, come on. Goalless at the break at the Diva Stadium. What a load of shit. Well, I hope you're enjoying this uh, amazing podcast slash live event. Still carrying on post-lockdown because if you're a real fan, you'll know it was going on pre-lockdown pre for a long time. It may feel like lockdown entertainment, but it is not. It's the entertainment that will be here forever. And in a thousand years time, people will still be watching this and wondering and, and wondering what's going on, what the rules of snooker were. Thanks for watching, everyone, from me and all the me's. Take care of yourself and each other. We love you. How do we get out of here? There it is. Goodbye.